Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Um, I'm going to continue trying to play Central Fall Rook. We'll see whether we get it or not. Good luck. Um, let's open with this. Okay. Uh, did I say Central Fall Rook? I meant Third Fall Rook. All right. So they're threatening to hit up here. Um, I'm not sure how to effectively pass a move. Um, or use a tempo here. We're going to play this bishop up. Welcome. So, I know I want to move my silver. I'm debating playing uh, the rook over here. Um, but also, fourth file rook could be interesting. Rook to any file could be interesting here. All right, so... Let's use the silver to threaten to hit this. Um, yeah, then let's play this over here. Now, I've blocked my rook again, but if I move, um, well, that's interesting. Are they going to try to push this twice? Are they going to, like, suddenly switch the rook over here? What are they aiming to do? Yeah, for those who, let's see. Oh, they did move the rook over here. Big surprise, right? Alright. Are they going to move the rook back to defend this now? No, they're just going to give up this pawn. And allow me to invade. Alright. I can accept this. Um... I'm going to take the 5-5 five, five square, just so this bishop... Oh. Interesting. I did not foresee that. Um, well, that's a unique strategy. Let's just castle and uh, attack later when we're ready. Okay, we'll just build up the castle slowly here. Um, right, so I don't have time for High Mino Castle. Um, I don't think I have time for... Okay, so... Okay, this is the castle they built. I don't know how to break that castle. Um, let's try building this one and see what's wrong with it. Um, okay. I have to recapture here. And then they hit this, and I forgot to defend that. So what do I do now? Nanafumi. 
Okay, I'm just going to continue building my castle and forget that I messed that up. I don't know whether allowing a pawn drop here is terrible or not. I don't know. I do know that building a castle is important. So that's why we were building one before we continue attacking, but um, yeah, I should not have taken this pawn so quickly. It's taking that was super slow. All right, so there, there's my shape. They can exchange stuff here, and it gets messy. Because I still haven't completed this shape. Hmm. Now, given their shape, I very much could use a rook to attack, if I can just get one back there. So they can't exchange their rook here. And since they can't exchange their rook, that does limit their options a bit. Um, they want to invade here. Oh, this is going to be... Hang on. I could hit the knight. That'd be risky. That'd be very risky. Let's not do that. Ay ay ay. I don't know how to make progress here. Um I could split the shape up by pushing the pawn and then dropping another pawn here. That could be of some interest. They're still in threatening to bring their knight in, which is really annoying. Um but no, I think it's reasonable for me to split this shape in half, even if it costs uh, material to do that. Also, with the silver moved, I can then consider some attack down this file. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, but I have more options. Uh, also, hmm. Alright, this pawn is in my way. I'll remove it so it's no longer blocking my rook. This is going to get really messy in a second here. Oh wow, they voluntarily moved their knight. I did not expect that. Um, If I take here... All right, we're going to exchange the bishops. If I drop a bishop, it hits the rook in the knight. Um, Go hmm. It's not the greatest bishop drop ever. I'm going to take next to their king. This, I think, forces silver takes. If gold takes... Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Somewhat. Um...
Okay, that actually gives me some silly reason to play this. So this defends everything and hits the rook. So they could take a silver, I would take a rook. They could take a gold, I'd take the rook. They'd take my silver, etc. So, um, but at the end of the day, I could move my silver up and drop a pawn to win this knight, because now my bishop covers the knight's escape square. Alright, they promote. I take this rook that I've wanted forever. So now I have a rook. Um, I attack before it's too late. If they drop a bishop, I drop a pawn. If they drop a pawn, I take a silver. Uh, I guess meanwhile I'm also threatening to move up the silver and drop a pawn here. Okay, I don't know how best to meet that. Hmm, I'm annoyed that I've come up with an answer and I don't like that answer. This loses time for me to take it the night. But what are they going to do with one turn? This is what they do with one turn, is they drop the bishop here. Um, Alright, I attack toward their king. And now we see if I've walked into a mate. I think I survived for at least one more turn. All right. Sampun. Uh, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that helps them. Hmm. We're going to try this. I have my doubts. Nifun.
I don't know how bad that is. That's me straight up giving away material because I don't see a mate. Um. Maybe I should block the bishop, but I was afraid they use the square and I have no defense there, so I'm taking the square instead of blocking the bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I block the bishop. That's not mate. The horse can take it. What am I thinking? Oh dear. Um, I didn't think the horse could recapture that. That's gonna make this much more difficult. So... Bizarre. Do they have a mate? I don't see one. Oh, I walked. No, it's not mate in one, but I walked into checkmate. Retreating back into the corner was clearly the right thing to do there. Um, because this is Maiden 1. Thanks for the game. I can't see the numbers above my opponent's pieces. Um, but yeah, they played well. I should know how many pieces my opponent has. For visual interest, let's draw another proverb from the bag. Good luck. All right, so we both activate some pieces here. Let's just continue building a castle. Haven't decided. All right, we're committing to it. They're building a, ta a castle that indicates a quick attack. I am building um, Bear in the Hole of Anaguma. There it is. Um, 
I can activate my rook right away. Why is this allowed? Alright, so there goes my rook. Wow. That's a move. Um, that stops me from playing pawn five five, sure. Let's use this diagonal then. And we're just going to take all the hanging pieces. Okay, that is a fork. If you said that is a fork, you would be correct. Um... What do you do after the fork? I feel like I've missed something here. Oh, I can move my gold away and then uh, hit this bishop. That's possible. Um, Let's take your first. Welcome. Nanafun. All right, they have a pawn in hand. Hmm. Okay, so we defend this and attack that. They could use this pawn to defend. Um, I've almost trapped my horse. It's kind of impressive how risky that was. Um... Okay, we prevent their rook from activating, and we defend our rook's head. Um, at this point, I'm going to claim that my opponent might not have this figured out. So next up, I trap their bishop and win it for a pawn. Um, 
Or I guess they sacrifice the silver to get their bishop to escape. Either way, I think I'm okay with this outcome. What do you suppose our next proverb is? All right, so they're going to escape their bishop. Um, Playing this lance here might be extremely heavy. I don't know. I guess I'm playing in a little bit of a cautious style after last game, where I kind of threw caution to the wind and bad things happened. So this game, I'm just playing super safe. Um, okay, I don't want this horse right next to my castle, so please move it. Also, once it moves, I might attack it again. Um, also, can I drop a silver here and then take that? Drop, king back, take, take, drop. Oh, hmm. No, that doesn't win material. It might be possible, but many things might be possible here. Um, Okay, let's put my rook on this open file. They'll probably just advance that pawn. Um, or otherwise bring this horse toward their castle. Uh, or they could play aggressively. I admit I did not expect such extreme aggression. All right, so I defend my lance. Not sure what this aggression buys them. If they want to attack, I understand that desire, but um, aggression isn't always going to pay off. Silver, king up, take, take, drop, king over, take, rook takes. I still don't have a way to break this. Um... Hmm. Okay, we're just going to deny this knight. I thought about bringing my rook over here. Um but didn't think that I had time for it.
三分。Okay, we're just gonna use the rook anyway. We'll find some way to use it. Whether that's over here, whether that's over there, whether that's waiting for them to attack and then counterattacking. Um, Okay. Um. Nifun Sanjubio. Man, being patient is difficult. It's so difficult to learn to be patient. Um, but none of my attacking ideas succeed yet. So I have to keep delaying my attack until the right time. This lance drop was so heavy uh, after I did it, I have to play very patiently, because everything I have is hanging. I could spend a move to bring the gold back to protect both of these other pieces, but that's a move I could be using to attack. Or to prepare an attack. There's a lot of preparation required. So if they push this, I can't drop my silver here. Um... It's difficult for them to strengthen their castle further. Um, all right, so now <laughs> this is actually my perfect window. So here we land. Finally. Granted, my rook floating in the middle of this combination is not going to help anything. Um... Let's take that. Do I take the rook? No. This is much more effective than taking the rook directly. So then the rook retreats, and then I promote, and then I'm hitting right next to the king twice, and I'm also hitting the rook. Alright, so now we take the rook for a silver general. Um, I don't know if I take the silver. Yeah, surely I must, right? This attack is too good. Um, I don't know if that's crazy or fantastic. It's one of the two. I just don't know how to figure out which it is. And I don't have time to figure it out. My rook is actually defended. I said earlier that it's floating. It's not. Alright, so... Here, they don't have a rook, and they don't have a gold. Okay. Um. Eep. Their king is surrounded. Circumstances quickly change. I'm threatening to take this, but more importantly, their king is ensnared. So... No, bishop drop doesn't mate because they drop in front. Um, mm. uh, 
I prevented their king from running into the corner. I'm threatening this gold. I don't see a mate. Oh, my lance that I dropped forever ago is helping support and tax. A gold drop 5-5 five five actually threatens mate. Gold drop, pawn takes, gold takes, king up. Okay, whatever. Um, this was my brilliant plan from the beginning of the game. Maybe. Or I'm just making that up. Um, wait, did I miss mate in one? So I prevented their king from escaping out this way. Um, I feel like, even though I'm certainly winning this, also certainly I missed a mate here somewhere. Okay, this is what I saw. It's two different mates. The other is gold drop on the head, and then gold takes, gold takes. I saw that. Um, I missed that the king could run out. Sharp stuff. Good luck. I've done that before. I have very much done that before. What's today's proverb? Keep the foothold for the attack. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's prevent the horse from easily escaping. Yeah, actually better for once in the opening. Buy your lottery tickets now. I joke, don't do that, but, um, yeah, this is wild. I don't know what to do. Being better in the opening is not something that usually happens for me. I'm like the lottery ticket winner that doesn't know what to do. Or the lottery winner, etc. But, um, there's too many good things here. Let's get my king to a modestly safe location, maybe. Yeah, meanwhile, our opponent is going to try to collect my horse and knight. Our horse and gold and silver. Um, 
I still can't see what to do about that. Losing not material enough. is not the end of the world. Um, all right, I need to take that one. This obviously allows the lance drop. Um, oh wait, okay, I'm slowly figuring out how tactics work in Shogi. It's taking me a minute. So, here, this defends the knight, the gold defends the silver, the rook defends the gold. Everything's defended. If they take the knight, I can take back. Even if somehow they ended up getting a silver and draw, yeah, anyway. Um... This doesn't lose, like, five pieces. This loses at most one piece, and probably not even that. Um, meanwhile, I wanted that square to vacate so I could threaten to win this gold general. Um... And also... Um, I'm totally okay with just... Okay, that's the snag. Gosh darn it, there's always a catch. So knight takes, silver takes, so they exchange multiple pieces. It's fine. I have not lost the game. If I take there, Lance takes, and I do lose multiple pieces. Um... So this is my other thought, is that I just want to take these generals here. Um, it's not so easy for him to resist my attack. Yep. Nothing else new here. Um, so I don't want to give up multiple generals for nothing. So we're going to get something for them. But then this is my next target. Uh, they're probably going to... Oh, Alright. Probably going to Go defy my expectations again and again. As they always do. Here, do you want a rook? You can have a rook, too. Is that what's going to make you happy? Apparently so. Alright. Why they did that, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right, so I attack. Continue attacking. Defend. Mm 
What in the world? Why that? They do see this, right? I guess they do now. Oh, I wanted to drop a gold here, and I thought I was clever by dropping a lance instead. That's fine. Nothing's going according to plan, because I'm just bad at planning, but what's new? Um... Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have doubled on the back row instead. But then they block on the back row. Um. I just blocked my rook. I was so eager to stop their attack on my king that I just threw away my own attack. Well, threw away is not completely accurate because I could drop a gold up here and then use the gold to take here. So it's not like my attack is completely gone here, but this is odd on my part. Um, on the other hand, them putting a goal, a bishop out in space where I can hit it is a bit provocative. Um, So I can take this pawn next to surround their king, and then horse takes, and then gold drop is not mate, but then the king moves, and then rook takes mates. Right, so that's why they needed to react. Um, I can just do gold takes, or silver takes, rather. Um, Nifun Sanjubio. This has to mate, right? How could there not be a mate after this? Gold takes, horse takes, king takes, gold drop, king up, rook takes. I don't know, man. Um, hmm, Nifun. Threatening rook takes, I guess. No, the horse covers the square. Well, okay. 
I guess that's one way things could proceed. I didn't expect this pawn move, because that blocks the horse. Also, because, yeah, this. Oh, thanks for the game. Well, that, that shows that we're all playing a bit anxiously today. Um, but hopefully we still... I'm going to take some time to review these games afterward. I don't know about you. Maybe you shouldn't, and I should. Uh, yeah, these were entertaining. Hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Well, yeah, of course I'm lucky. I'm always lucky, except when I'm not. Um, but no, you're right. That could have gotten messy. How messy? Let's find out. Yeah, if they'd escaped to the right... Still, I didn't think I had any better than allowing that variation. Um, I thought they were always escaping. Even when I sacrificed my horse, I thought they would... S I didn't have a mate. Um... All right, so I'm curious. The material win and initiative out of the opening, just how much was it? I know it's been extremely painful when I've been on the receiving side of that attack. Um, all right, so here, uh, gold 3-2 would have been... Is a, it's not the right move. Developing the rook is fine. Whatever, they're guess both are in book. Um moving this silver is more recommended, I guess. Um move evaluation exclamation point. Whatever. Um so here yeah, here they drop 20 pawns, or 19 pawns in value, by uh, allowing the tactic. Alright, how much of that value did I get? More than 20, because they also placed the bishop. I played this reasonably. Okay, so taking the knight would have been fine. Despite this pawn encroaching on the position. Um, like, how do you play this attack? Pawn takes, yes, yeah, so they... Oh, the same tactic shows up here. Except in this position, the opponent doesn't have a knight also weighing in on this. So here we have two defenders against one attacker. Um, and the opponent has no way to change that situation. They don't have the knight up, they can't get the silver up there in time, and they have no pawns in hand. And they can't force a pawn exchange. So yeah, taking the knight would have been free. And then the lance would have been free. And then all this would have been free. Uh, so I missed that. Decided that descent, uh, defending my king was for a reasonable use of time. It wasn't terrible. Uh, right, so this I had been waiting for. Okay, I was impressed by this gold 5-8 move. Geeko prefers gold 5-9. Either way, I attacked correctly. Ah, and here, need to spend one turn defending. Eventually, I get a bishop placed there in the game, and it's so nice. But here, it just 
straight up wins the knight because the silver next to the king is hanging. That's a good observation. Alright, so I missed that. And then what else did I miss later in the game? Um, Alright, yeah, I was getting a bit annoyed at this point, in case that wasn't clear. Because all of my pieces are hanging. Um, so if gold 4-4... Four, four, I thought they'd drop a silver in front of my rook. Didn't think I had time for this move. But no, I guess two pieces for a rook is a good exchange. Even if they are able to get their horse out of the corner. Um, oh yes, yeah, so this fork they prefer instead. And my attack is super slow here. Yeah. Anyway. I can defend and attack if I just figure out the tactics. Uh, so here the lance drop would have been appropriate uh, to get the rook off of my king. Here it's no longer appropriate. Oh, because yeah, rook 2-2 two two is now possible. Yep, so I spot that. Okay, the lance drop is correct. And this exchange is correct. This drop is reasonable. Okay, and here I do... Hmm. Oh! Well, that's a bit embarrassing. So that answers our question about how do you attack this thing. Take here. And then we have this contact check, and then can promote the rook. Duh. Well, that would have been a lot easier. Um, so I played decently this game. Oh, hang on. And then this situation. I debated, should I take the pawn? Because then the king might escape out this way. Or should I drop back here? And I thought I had things figured out. Um, so if the king tries to escape to 7-7, seven, seven, then we take the lance. If we play everything like an engine would play, then at the end of this litany of tactics, um, we uh, I'm still better. As if I'm going to see all of that. So, yeah, this gold drop is extremely heavy and flusters my attack. As do all these things. Um, we're able to remove their horse as they remove our dragon, and we use our other dragon to attack, and, you know, it's possible. But they walked straight into a mate. Um... Yeah, that works. So yeah, I was lucky. Probably wouldn't have been able to figure out the rest of that. Um, what happened in game two? It's all a blur.
Alright, so this game had a reasonable opening. Okay, pawn takes pawn would have been smarter than the bishop dropped directly. Oh, wait. Pawn takes pawn is still best here. I did wonder about that during the game. Yeah, the game got really difficult for no reason. Um, wait, so the lance drop would have been reasonable here. The opponent has a pawn, but cannot drop it to break the lance's attack. Hmm. I don't understand why this is so good. Other than later right in the game, I dropped the lance and had a hell of a time trying to do anything. But the rook could just move away from this. Clearly, this is just a case where I'm right and the engine doesn't see the rook move. Right? There we go. Alright, this knight is hanging either way. Why do we care? So, moving the knight. Why would you move the knight here? Instead of just attacking the way that they attacked during the game. I'm not sure it matters, but let's... Oh, okay, this is why the lance drop is useful. The horse can defend the lance through the gold if the rook is moved away. Okay. I didn't see that. So, owing to that, I missed the best move. Yeah, 7-7's seven, the wrong direction. I was so fixated on trying to stop this rook from advancing that I allowed some really messy tactics, um, which they did not avail themselves of this opportunity, although that didn't. That was a minus 25. Here I have a minus 44, so I'm losing half a pawn doing it this way. Um, Alright. Yeah, my lance drop loses a pawn in value. Because I don't activate all my pieces. Oh! <laughs> Moving up the gold would have been pretty cool. Um... Rook 3-8 would have been safe, I guess. And aiming at the king. But yeah, here my position's better, so until I, like, manage to throw this somehow, it's, it's all good. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, so here, trapping the horse is actually best, because I can't split this castle in one move, and my attempts to split it up just get me in trouble. So, yeah, winning the horse and then continuing the attack would have been smarter. They have no attack. The only thing they could do to attack here would be push the pawn to 6-6, six, six, and that doesn't do anything right now. None of their other pieces can engage my forces here. So, anyway, we were winning that position, even if I didn't see the, how the best way was to convert it. I came up with some decent moves. This game, I dropped a gold toward the end in a position that was already quite difficult.